Sunday afternoon, everyone, or good Sunday evening. Depends on when you get to see this. Um, so, in our group, resin art group, I put out a challenge for you guys to um, do a nice summer pour, to do some really bright colors or whatever, as long as it's got a bit of a summer feel, and to think outside of the box, to pour on something different. It can be in resin, it can be in acrylic, you, you do what you'd like. And uh, Mariette and Tyne and I will not be judging. Um, and we can enter, we're just not going to win. Um, so I thought I'd start us off with what I was thinking of, because I was out in the garden this morning. We bought, this is Victoria Day weekend here in uh, Canada, and which means for a lot of us, it means a lot of gardening, finally getting out there, and that's exactly what I do. I love my gardens. So all morning I was planting, and it just put me in the mood for doing what I was thinking about. So this is going to be a bit of a two-part. I'm hoping to come down later tonight to do the second part. But uh, this is where we're going with this. Okay, guys? I am doing a tabletop for my back deck. This piece is for me and my husband. And, of course, it's in blues because my set out the back is gray and blue. And I'm going with a butterfly theme. So this is the way it's going to be laid out. Um, but I'm not, I just wanted you to see it. I'm going to lift this now because this will go on the, the second layer when I uh, come down and do the second layer. But I just wanted you to see how I have laid, well be laid this out. And those butterflies are little tin butterflies that I got at uh, Michael's. They're really cute. They're little tin butterflies. And then I got uh, wall stickers. So I'm going to use this one. And then I'm going to add a few really pretty colored fake plastic one-sided. They're flat-sided around around it so the colors i'm i'm not going to i want the blue to show through so i'm using september sapphire and evening teal but i only am using three drops which is what's wonderful about the spouts you can squirt as much as you want or as little as you want and i am doing three drops in each cup and I'm using my winter white. But what I'm going to do first, we're using my resin, Northern Lights resin, hardly any bubbles. So I'm going to pour my cups full because I'm hoping to go for a very transparent look with the two colors. I'm not using a lot of white. I also want to fill my two new mold, or my one new mold that I made the other night, and I'll show you that after this. But now I'm going to pour the remainder in here. Into the top of my table. And these tables are like the black one you saw in my, my tutorial of last month, I think it was. The black end shells. It's a folding table. The legs are folding. Okay. So we're not plugged in. Okay. So let's get all my resin out of here. If you've seen me do this, you know why I'm doing this. If you're new to my channel, 
I like to do this heat the and I use silicone reusable over and over and over again silicone measuring cups from Amazon and I like to heat the resin that's inside the cup so I'm getting as much use out of all my resin as I possibly can and also it leaves such a thin layer around the cup that it's so easy to peel off tomorrow morning. So there we go. I turn them upside down and let them drain out. So now I'm just going to spread this around. That's about even. What I want to do too, because I just saw that I put a little bit, I don't want resin coming up the sides. So I use paper towel with alcohol and just wipe where it dripped on the side. There we go. You also see a little hair. Okay, there we go. And can you guys see? I'm going to bring it down a bit. Do you see any bubbles? No bubbles. That's my resin. Northern Lights resin. Okay, so let's give these guys a stir and see if I did the few little drops with what, all I needed. Or was it more than I needed? Nope, I think that's pretty good. Okay, that's nice and transparent. Very good. That's the blue. The September Sapphire, which is my birthstone. And this is the evening teal, which I just love. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Look at this, how pretty it is in a transparent. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just pour these two at the same time. And just spread them out. That's exactly what I wanted, that kind of transparency, transparency. Very good, very good. And that was just three little drops of each color. And now I'll just move that around a little bit. What I'm going for is a nice summer sky. Nice summer sky with a few, this will be a few clouds. And I want this, I don't want this opaque, but I don't want the, the white to be too transparent. And I think I did pretty good with the five, I think it was six drops. Maybe, no, no, it was probably five drops of the white. And it's not completely opaque, but it's not completely transparent either. So, let's see if I spread this around and see what happens with that.
Okay. Okay, and I'm going to leave it, guys, at this. And then I will put my butterflies in when I come down later and it's set up a bit for me. I'll put the butterflies in. I'll put my little thingies on and then I will cover it with a clear coat. But for now, that is step one. So guys, go get at it. Go get your summer challenge on beginning of summer challenge and uh, remember you've got until this friday to have them in uh, mariette and tyne and i will not be judging i will keep pick a secret judge and that person he or she will be the judge of who wins this one and the prize will be um a box of and they size box of my products. Okay, guys? So you get at it. Have a wonderful afternoon. And I'll probably see you again tonight. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm back. And amazed. Okay, so it was about 4 o'clock when we did the first part of this tabletop. It is now 6.30. Look at this. That's how firm it is already. That's cool. Okay, so I put some I put the butterflies in place and now I'm working on the design and I just I just wanted you to see how I'm doing this. I'm adding a little touch of tacky glue to the back, flat part of these really pretty uh, iridescent little gems, I guess. And I'm just making my own little design. And the reason I'm gluing, I didn't glue any of this down because they're heavier, but these are as light as a feather. And I know that once I pour the resin, the second coat, the last coat of the resin, this will, uh, they'd float, <laughs> probably. So that's why I'm kind of adding a bit of glue. to it so look at how pretty these are oh. and there are in all different colors all different colors pink and an aqua and the purple very light lavender color white really pretty different shapes really really pretty So I'm just coming up with my own little design here, no rhyme or reason, really. Hmm. hoping that this glue does hold them down so they don't pop up or this could be a bit of a disaster and my wonderful husband went to Timmy's after dinner tonight so Maybe some three little 
And I got another couple. Oh, there's another one. Make sure they're the same size. They're in different sizes too. I got these at Michael's. You know, you don't have to spend the big bucks on, you know, all the gems and whatever. They are nice. And they're beautiful, and don't get me wrong, because you know I use them too. But, you know, sometimes you can get a very pretty piece done with cute little knickknacks that you find in art stores, craft stores. Just, you never know. Even in your own drawers, you never know. Okay, so I think well, I need one more, one more for the other side, and we'll do it with the white teardrop. it and I'll just pray for the best because I'm going to lay the next layer the last layer of resin put this one right here So guys, we are done. And a piece of glue. Okay, so come up, come up, come up, come up. There we go. Okay, guys, let's fingers crossed for me, please. Better, better, okay. Let's see if this works. Heat this up. Okay, so that's that. No bubbles? One bubble. One bubble. Two bubbles. Sorry, I lied. There were two bubbles and now there's junk I just accidentally flicked off of my glove. on you. Oh! <laughs> but the good news is they're staying down. They are staying put. They're not floating up to the top. So that glue 
did the trick. And there we go, guys. I think that is pretty awesome that they stuck. I'm really, I like this. Oh, there's my third bubble. Oh, no, it's not a bubble. It's a piece of something off my glove. There we go. So I'll bring it down so you can see. Up. So this is my summer piece. It's the top of a folding table tray. This will be something I keep in my backyard. There you go. There you go. That's my entrance into the challenge, even though I'm not allowed to win. <laughs> Which is okay, because I know you guys will come up with a million wonderful things. Uh, but have fun with it. And like I said, think outside of the box. And have fun, guys. Have a good evening. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.